Hey guys, I hope you all are having a great day so far wherever you are in the world. Today we will be diving deep into the first chapter of Who Says You Can't You Do by Daniel Shidiak. And this is a book where if you want to change the way you see yourself and your potential, then sit back, get out a journal, pen or pencil, and we are going to train our minds together. In chapter one, we begin with the power of questioning, and we step into the process of self-discovery. The first practice is going to start with, am I followed by a positive quality? For example, you can write these down. Am I a loving person? Am I respectful? Am I compassionate? Am I generous and sharing? Am I honest? Am I grateful? After you write these questions down and you reflect on them, if you automatically think of a time where you weren't these qualities, that's completely normal, you're human. But here is how we are going to get past to that. We're now going to add the question, when was a time that I displayed this quality? So what we're doing here is we're now focusing on a time when we displayed a positive quality about ourselves. So what this does is it trains our mind to focus and reflect on the good or positive attributes about ourself which essentially will make you feel better about yourself and that's the very first step into transforming the way you feel about yourself we are now going into step two where you now flip the am and the i to read i am this is where we begin the process of affirmations now this is the game changer when you affirm qualities about yourself that bring out the best in you, you align yourself with those qualities and essentially live into them, right? So I understand that if you're in a place right now where you don't feel like you're confident, you don't feel like you're beautiful, well, I'll tell you what, right now, the only way to get there is to train your mind to align with those feelings and to believe it. So when you are affirming these affirmations, right? I'm gonna do this with you. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am worthy of love. When I say these words, I mean it, I feel it, and I believe it. Essentially, you become what you believe, and that is the power of affirmations. So if you don't wanna say out loud how great you are right now in public, you can just silently say it in your head or whisper it silently and practice this daily for about five minutes just five minutes daily. Now moving on to the last set of questions for this chapter, which is what Daniel Shidiak would consider to be probing deeper into self-discovery. So these questions are going to allow us to reflect deeper into ourselves. Starting with number one, what drives you every day and what is the basis of your decisions. Number two, what are you going to do today that was different from yesterday, which will ultimately shape who you are tomorrow? Number three, what are the life-changing decisions you are committed to making today that will produce the results you so desperately want. Number four, what's at least one thing that you can change about your life right now 
that will prevent a lifetime of pain and generate a never ending supply of pleasure. And when you go through these questions, you don't need to rush. But when you do answer the questions, make sure that your answer is specific. So for example, for number one, what drives you every day and what is the basis of your decisions? Some examples would be wanting, your, wanting to give your children the best life you possibly can. Or wanting to be the best person you know how to be. Or having that feeling of being in charge of your life and many more. But no matter what it is, it must be specific. And now the fifth and final question is, how can I? Now asking the question, how can I, allows us to broaden our options. For example, how can I be healthy and fit? How can I push myself that extra mile? Or how can I get that car? The neat thing about this question is that you'll begin to notice inspiration everywhere. Whether that's listening to a podcast, at the gym, going on a jog, because now your mind is subject to noticing them. It's like what Daniel Shidiak mentions here. You have enlarged the picture frame, so it increases the space for more pictures. And that's just the magic to get started with the personal growth journey. So I am so grateful that you tuned in today and I genuinely look forward to hearing your answers and your reflections next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time on Instagram live stream where I will be inviting any one of you to join me to go over our experiences of change here. So thank you again for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. What?